this right here that we're looking at is a, a really neat site. Um, I found it about 20 years ago out hiking around it. It's in a very remote area. Um, I highly doubt very many people even know it exists. And I always want to come back here and, and document it. And what I believe it to be was during prehistoric times, the ancient Indian peoples that lived in this area, we're, we're in Colorado right now, that it was a, a staging area, an ambush site, uh, where they would ambush animals uh, coming down the canyon. And those types of sites are documented. Uh, they did exist, so that's based on you know historic fact. Um, I have no way of proving that, and that's just my theory. I could be totally wrong. Um, if any of you have a different theory, I would love to hear it, and please put it in the, the comment section. Uh, right now, we're directly across from it, so it gives us a, a good vantage point. And I'll show you guys the other side, but I wanted to kind of show it to you from this side first because it'll make probably more sense. But right down here, the, the base of the hill uh, we're setting on, there back then there would have been probably a large pine tree about right there on the other side of the scrub oak. And then right here, I call that the pool station, that rock wall. And there would have been men staged behind that rock wall, and that's where they would have pulled on a rope, um, the rope would have been attached to this pine tree and it would have formed a net. And they would have used this net to trap the animals that were being pushed down the canyon. Right up above it, it's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see the rock outcropping, but right there it comes up and over. Right there I call the staging area. And that's where the men would have been hidden uh, with their spears. So when these men at the pull station pulled on the rope, lifting the net, trapping the animals, the men at the staging area would have ran down the hill with their spears and they would have killed the animals. And back then it you know, would have been commonly the same animals as today. A lot of bighorn sheep, mountain goats, deer, elk, buffalo, that kind of stuff. So let's go over there and take a look. This is the canyon right here, and it goes to about that point, and then it forks. And I've hiked it years ago up that one, and it's kind of neat. When you get to the top, there is an old miner's cabin that's hidden in the forest. Now, the cabin is in really, really poor shape. Uh, the right fork going up that way, I've never been up yet, but back then, at this site, how, how I believe it would have worked, is you would have had men that would have went to the top of both canyons, that way, that way. They would have slowly walked down the canyon, making a lot of noise, banging sticks, uh, things like that, trying to scare the animals. The animals would have came down the canyon, right through there, and right about there would have been the pine tree we talked about. And then right here, they built this ancient rock wall. And this is where the pool station was. So, men would have laid down behind, hidden behind this rock wall, waiting for the right time. And I'm sure somebody would have been staged and they would have gave a signal. And at that time, all the men would have pulled on the rope, lifting the net right here, in this valley, trapping the animals right there. This right here, this is the area I refer to as the staging area. 
this is where the men would have been hidden. It's a lot larger area. And they would have been waiting with their spears to run down the hill and make the kill. And this wall's a lot larger, as you can see, because it was concealing more people. And it's kind of neat because they built siding holes all throughout the wall. And as you can see right here, And look at that, it's a perfect vantage point, the perfect view to look up the canyon and watch the animals coming down in anticipation for the net and the kill. And you got a lot of them. There's another one. There's some, uh, some nice ones up in here. This one's really big. Uh, I got grass there now, but it's a perfect view to see up the canyon. But it's a perfect spot and they have the downhill advantage. So as they're sitting here waiting, you know, their adrenaline would be going, they'd be ready to run down, make the kill. And it's a downhill, but it's not real steep, just downhill, just enough to where they could be down this hill to the netting area man, in a matter of seconds. So that's my theory on this, on this site. Like I said, I could be wrong, but I think that makes sense. And it's a, a plausible explanation, but either way, it's a very old site. It's a very interesting site. And I'm glad I was able to find it again and share it with, with all of you guys.